Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy D. Lloyd. So we are sitting here with an 0 and 5 record, looking to somehow try to get our first victory against Cincinnati, who was ranked number 19 in the country. So we definitely have a huge uphill battle here in this matchup. Let's go ahead and jump straight into the commentary. Cincinnati has the football first. Right away, they go with the direct snap to the running back. He gets a gain of eight yards. Right here, they go right back to Flanagan, but this time we're going to bring him down before he gets any yards whatsoever. So now third and eighth, the quarterback Jones gets brought down for a sack, and we actually hold the Bearcats to a three and out so we're going to take over on offense from the 35 yard line and Hickson dropping back and then right away Hickson is going to find Nate Anderson who makes that reception for a first down now the next play we hand it off to Austin he goes absolutely nowhere on that carry so now the second down Hickson is dropping back again looking for his receiver who makes the reception but he is out of bounds so that will be ruled incomplete third down we will end up being brought down for a sack so we had a couple promising plays here but nonetheless, we're still punting the football over to Cincinnati. So they take over on offense. Right away, they hand off to Flanagan. He goes nowhere on that carry. Third and six now. They're going to go ahead and motion out the running backs there. Now in the empty formation. Jones looking to his left. And Jones will complete this one to Kent, who just barely is able to pick up a first down on that play. Now the very next play, Jones is taking a shot deep down the field. And this one's going to be caught by Banks on a one-on-one -on -one coverage. They are now down to the 25-yard line. Jones dropping back, but right here, he throws the interception to Mack, our middle linebacker, and that is a huge play because we stop any chances of them scoring any points. So score still 0-0. Zero to zero. We are on on offense. We got to put something together. This football right here will be overthrown. So now at a second and 10, we go with a play fake. It's a very good play fake. So we'll throw this one deep down the field, and this one will be caught by Jackson, and Jackson is taking this one to the crib for a touchdown, an 85-yard reception. That will be brought back due to a holding penalty. So instead of a touchdown, we're now looking at a second down right here. We're going to find Anderson. He's going to force a third and nine. So Hickson is dropping back, rolling out to his right, taking a shot down the field. And this one will be caught as the receiver is able to get his foot down in bounds. Now the next play, we take another shot down the field. This one's going to be way overthrown. So now it is third and ten. Bruce Hickson is dropping back right here, looking for an open receiver, and eventually he is going to find Horn, who makes that reception. And we are now down to around the 30-yard line. But then two plays later, we are going to underthrow a slant route. That is a huge no-no on man-on-man coverage. That will be intercepted. Cincinnati is going to take over as time is winding down here in the first quarter. So right away, they're going to find Banks. And look at the blocks Banks is able to get. He's taking off down the sideline, and we are not going to catch him. So instead of us possibly getting points, Cincinnati is going to put up points instead. They're up 7 to nothing here in this matchup. Right here, we're looking at a third and 21. We're dropping back, and we will be sacked. Luckily for us, we are ruled down just outside of the end zone. So we have to punt it, but we have a little bit of good news because we're going to force a fumble, but unfortunately, we are unable to recover the fumble. That would have been huge if we could have got that football back. So Cincinnati is going to maintain possession of the football. They have the ball at the 37-yard line. They're going to hand it off to Flanagan, who's going to make one man miss and then take this one inside of the 30-yard line. A couple of plays later on in the drive, Jones drops back, and he is going to throw an interception. This is Peoples taking off down the sideline, being brought down at the 45-yard line. And then Chris Jones, the quarterback of the Cincinnati Bearcats, is going to go out with the injury, and he will be out. For the rest of the game. So we have a good opportunity here to try to tie this game up if possible. And then the quarterback is injured. So that should definitely be able to help us as well. So second down right here. We're dropping back. Looking for our running back. This football will fall incomplete. Right here this is Bruce Hickson dropping back again. Looking to his left. Another incomplete pass. So now it is third and ten for Alabama State. And we get brought down for a sack. So a not good possession at all. And really, we can't get anything going on offense. We definitely need to. Our defense has been holding up the best they can. And they make another play right here as we force a fumble. We actually recover it at the 29-yard line, you guys. So we have great, great field position here. And we definitely need to capitalize. Right here, Hickson dropping back. He's looking for Jackson crossing down the middle. That will be overthrown. So now it's going to be second down. Hickson dropping back again. And this football is picked off by Cincinnati. And that's going to stop that drive there. And once again, uh, the offensive struggles is really just getting to us at this point. Right here, the backup quarterback throws it. This football will fall incomplete. So fortunately for us, 
we're able to get the football back, but we don't have that great field position that we just had a couple of plays earlier. Right here, Hickson is throwing this football, and it would be dropped by the receiver. Now it is third down. We're dropping back again. We're going to find Alstrom, who makes the catch, and he is just inches shy of the first down marker. So why not go for it on fourth down? We go with the QB sneak, and Hickson is able to pick up a first down. So now we're down to the 38-yard line. One minute to go here in the first half. We're taking the shot deep down the field, and this one will be caught by Horn down to the three-yard line. So we have to get this one into the end zone right here, guys. If we can go into halftime with a tied-up ball game, that will be absolutely huge. So, first and goal, we have the ball at the three-yard line. We decide to spread them out, try to complete the short pass. This one will be dropped. So now it is second to go from the three. We come out in our goal line offense, and this one goes absolutely nowhere. So on third down, we go with a QB sneak. Hickson is getting stopped. So now on fourth to go, we decide to go for it and try to tie this game up before halftime. We get stopped. That sends us to halftime, and we are still scoreless in this matchup. So Cincinnati is winning 7 2 0. That is the score. Now they got the football here in the third quarter. They go with the play faker right away. They want to find Ken, who makes the reception, and then he is going to outrun three defenders from Alabama State. He's taking this one into the end zone for a touchdown. So our defense finally concedes, and they're up 14 and nothing, making it much more difficult for our offense. But we need to get something going. This is Austin, our running back, making this reception on the swing pass. That will be a first down. Then the very next play, Hickson rolling out to his left, throwing this football, and it's going to fall incomplete. So now it is second to 10. We're going to go ahead, roll out to our left once again. But this time, this pass is going to be thrown, and it will be intercepted by Cincinnati. Another pick thrown in this ball game, and they get the football in great field position so now we definitely need to come up with a turnover or something to try to stop them from scoring any points right here they're taking a shot into the end zone and we had an opportunity right there to come up with the interception unable to hold on to it right here this is blunt taking this one up the middle he'll be brought down at around the 12 yard line now blunt drop back again throwing this one into the end zone and another opportunity to come up with the interception but instead Cincinnati will settle for a field goal they are now up 17 to nothing in this ball game. But we are back on offense trying to get something going. The crowd is rattling us a little bit. We get hit as we throw and this one is going to be a pick six. So everything is going absolutely wrong in this third quarter. After we played a relatively great half, probably our best half of football in half number one. But right here, this is Blunt looking to his left. This one will squeeze in over the defender. That will be a first down. Third and 10 for Cincinnati. They go with a play fake. Blunt is looking down the field, and this one will be intercepted by Peoples. His second interception of the ball game. But we are still facing an uphill battle. Still down 24 to nothing. We have to get something going. There right here, this is going to be Hickson dropping back, looking for an open receiver. He's going to find Anderson, who makes the reception, and that will be a first down. Now the next play, they are blitzing. We're able to get rid of it in time. That is Anderson again, making another reception. But then on third and three, the pressure is coming, and we're going to throw an interception. And this one will also be a pick six, so a disastrous third quarter from Alabama State, you guys. It was seven to nothing heading into this quarter, and just like that, it is 31 to nothing. But Cincinnati is not done. They go with the play fake here. They're gonna complete this one to Banks, and look at this play, probably the best play I have seen against us, unfortunately. Breaking tackles left and right, and Banks is taking this one into the end zone for a touchdown. So 38 to nothing is the score. Cincinnati, why not go ahead and score one more time? They're gonna hand off to the running back, and he is taking off after he bounced off a couple of defenders, and he is walking into the end zone for a touchdown. That's gonna be the ball game. We are gonna fall to 0-6. I guess the good news is the season is halfway over, you guys. Hopefully we can get at least one win. That is pretty much our goal now. Try to get one win this season, and hopefully with a recruiting class, try to get a little bit better for the future seasons. But taking a look at the stats, they were absolutely awful. 13 for 42, zero touchdowns, five interceptions from Bruce Hickson, you guys. Running game is pretty much non-existent. We don't have an offensive line. We don't have a good running back. All that com together combines in a pretty pretty terrible running game our receivers they tried their best but really can't do much without a very good quarterback but that is all i have for this episode you guys i definitely hope you guys enjoyed this video and are also enjoying the series if you are please go ahead and leave this video a like subscribe if you haven't already it's your boy d lloyd i'm gonna see y'all next time peace